Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to play you three tunes from Savoy in the French Alps. My friend Guillaume very kindly sent me from France a copy of this book, which is um, a collection of tunes from Savoy in the French Alps in the southwest. This contains over 80 recordings and transcriptions of traditional tunes from that area. These were collected by Jean Marc Jacquier in the 70s and 80s, and he spent most of his career uh, collecting these tunes and uh, popularising them, and he created events and festivals and did various publications, including this one. It's a really good source of this old material, which is still played in that area, but very rarely heard outside of that part of France. We're going to start off with a, a waltz uh, from Louis Ouvrier Bonnard. And there's a lovely picture of him in the book, uh, playing his fiddle on a mountainside, surrounded by his cows. Uh, it's a very simple tune. I'll, I'll play it uh, again. I played it at the beginning. I'll play it again with the, the backing and with the music. So it should be easy enough to follow. You might well ask uh, what is the, the playing style of this music and a bit like English uh, traditional fiddle there isn't a lot in the way of ornamentation. I think the main thing is plenty of drones and a, pr a pretty straightforward simple way of playing is the most appropriate and if you listen to most of the recordings on this album then they're all pretty much in that, in that line. Uh, the next tune I want to show you is called Le Petit Gamin, and this is a thing called a polka mazurka. Now, to me, a polka and a mazurka are two very different things, um, and I know next to nothing about the, the dance involved with this, but obviously it, it probably involves uh, both polka and mazurka steps, but in terms of tempo, it's in three uh, rather than two, so uh, I think of it more as a mazurka. It's in the key of D, but it's D mixolydian, so that uh, in quite a few places you have a C natural. So let's play through this. So again, nice and simple, and uh, on, on a few of the recordings in this book, the uh, pe people are actually dancing and the, the, the fiddler is actually calling, and he just goes round and round the same tune over and over again. 
Uh, finally, we've got a uh, brawl, uh, spelt B-R-A-N-L-E, but pronounced brawl as in uh, a fight. Um, and this is Brawl de saint foy Tarantes. Tarantes being a region of the um, of Savoy in the French Alps. This comes from the playing of Celestine Frepas, and uh, the brawl is actually a 16th century circle dance. Uh, this is a very short one. Uh, it's again um, Mixolydian, so we have a in the second half. In the first half, it's F sharps. So it goes like this. enjoy those tunes. Uh, if you are surprised to hear that there is any French traditional fiddle going on, <laughs> uh, as I was when I first uh, researched this, then um, uh, yes, th there is a lot of French fiddle, but it's all disguised by, uh, by regions. So if you Google uh, French fiddle, you find nothing except from my book on French fiddle. If you look, however, uh, for uh, Savoyard fiddle, or uh, the fiddle music of central France, or the fiddle music of uh, Béarn, or Brittany, then you will find lots of stuff. And I did a, a video a while back uh, kind of explaining the, the hidden history of French fiddle, which is really interesting. And uh, if you're interested in finding more of these kind of tunes, do look at the, the book that this uh, lesson has been based on, and also at my French fiddle book, which has fiddle tunes from all over the regions of France. If you are enjoying my videos and would like to see more of them coming, then do please consider joining me on Patreon. Thank you for watching, I'll see you again soon.